Hi, I'm Tasman Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make some anti-acne peel off patches. Now this product is a gel-like product that's applied onto a blemish or pimple directly. You allow it to dry and then it essentially peels off. Now another option for this type of product is that you can apply and press it onto a clear piece of film, like what stickers come on or a patch. And then once it dries, you peel it off and apply it on to the blemish or the pimple directly. Now, let me show you how to put it together. Alrighty, so I have my phase eight ingredients here. Now to put my anti-acne patches together, you do need to make quite a viscous gel product. So I'm gonna be using quite a high input of Stepimax N and I'm gonna add that into my water phase. Now to my water phase, I have used quite a high input of some Sepi Max Zen. You do want to create quite a viscous gel here in order for the acne patches to work and also press if that's the option you're going for. Now the Sepi Max Zen will not hydrate straight away. So you do want to wet your polymer. So put it in the water, give it a good mix, and then you do want to cover it and leave it for a while for it to hydrate. Now, once it's hydrated, it will be quite a thick gel. Now I am using quite a few cool materials in this product. The first one here is the Burger Care Aqua Liquid. So these are water soluble lipids. This one here is the Bisabolo. So Bisabolo is really good for anti-inflammatory. So I'm gonna add a small input in there. Okay, so my next important ingredient here is my film former. So this is the Bakuzen C1008. This is gonna create a film over the skin and then it's gonna help with the peeling off of the product as well. So I'm gonna put a small input of that in here. Okay, so next is my actives. Now I have chosen a couple of the CLR range here for my anti-acne patches. The first one I'm gonna use is the Cutie Biome CLR. Now this active here is really good at reducing the um, sebum production. So when you do get acne, most of the time it is an overproduction of, of sebum. So this is gonna help reduce it. It's got some really good efficacy data here that I'm putting on the screen now. Over an eight week period, there's been quite a significant reduction in sebum production. So almost 41 percent which is great um, with 13 out of the 20 volunteers so really good product to use there it also helps to restore uh, oily and troubled skin um, it also fights the appearance of spots shine and blocked pores which is also really good when you've got acne or any blemishes it's also really effective at targeting breakouts of pimples um, for a more balanced complexion so overall really good active to use there and my second one here from CLI is the Pro Bio Balance. So this has some really good soothing, calming and anti-stress benefits. It helps um, detoxify the skin, it neutralizes external attacks. Uh, it's rich in uh, balancing nutrients. Um, it helps skin cells boost the natural age resisting function and it also helps with cell repair. And it's also got some really good data down here that I am putting on the screen, which reduces uh, skin redness, which is very common when you have a breakout of pimples or acne. So and again, another really good active to use there. Next, I'm gonna add in just a bit of preservative. And last but not least, I do want my peel off patches to dry pretty quickly on the skin. Um, you don't want people standing around waiting for it to, to dry for very long. So I am gonna add just a small input of some ethanol. You can of course also use some isopropyl myristate. You can of course also use some isopropyl alcohol as well. So now it's time to check adjust our pH. Now I'm not gonna add any fragrance or essential oil to this because I don't want it to be um, irritating to my acne breakout or my blemishes. So I'm just gonna leave that fragrance free, um, make it as less irritating as possible. But obviously if you do wanna mask the smell of the ethanol, even though it hasn't been used at a very high input, you can of course use a very small input. So this is what it's looking like. Pretty much looks like a really nice glossy emulsion. So I am gonna cover this and leave it till the next day.
Okay, so this is what my anti-acne peel-off mask is looking like today. So it still remained quite a really thick jelly-like gel. And I'm gonna put a bit on my hand just to show you how it works. Now this will take around 10 minutes to dry, five to 10 minutes to dry, just depending on how thick you do apply it on your skin. So if you do wanna go down the road of pressing the mask into some plastic film, you need to buy some cosmetic grade film, make sure it's nice and sterile. And then you will need to press it quite thin onto the plastic film. It will need to dry for a little while, probably five to 10 minutes, and then you will be able to peel it off pretty much like a sticker and then apply it onto your blemishes. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to make some peel off anti-acne patches. Now, if you do want more of that peeling effect, please increase your film forming agent or your polymer. If you want it to be faster drying, please increase your ethanol or your isopropyl alcohol. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on all our videos. Happy formulating.